Alrighty, this reading is going to be for my earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Spirit, give me some messages for earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Spirit, give me some messages for the earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. What's the current energy right now? Yin Yang. So we have the Yin Yang energy here. Okay, reminds me of balance. Someone needs to stand into the masculine energy or the feminine energy or find a clear balance between the both. Okay, someone could be coming off to be um, way too submissive to something, going off an imbalance and off balance, right? So, an imbalance here. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what do we have? What is the neutral message? that we want the Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo to receive today. Spirit guides, angel ancestors, I ask that you give me the energies. Flood me with the energies. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, what messages do you want me to convey today? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, come down with possible messages and grand suggestions. But we all know the rules of tarot. Take the energies, how they resonate. Roles are reversible. There's no gender in tarot. So it's your story. Please take it how it resonates. If it's not, take your other planetary placement or come back for another reading. So there's an off balance because we're feeling impatient about something, right? We're feeling hesitant. We're feeling anxious about something, right? It looks like someone wants to leave. They want to go into something. They want to move out of the energy, right? They want to get towards the energy. Right now, it's important that you take the elements that you currently have and you blend it together and do your best with what you have, right? There's something that you're looking for to either go out of your garden and get, but it looks like you need to utilize the elements within your garden, right? Your gar garden is flourished with so many different things here, right? The patience is in reverse, so temperance is required. When you think of these two elements, temperance has to do with that balance of yin and yang, right? The balance of the different opposites, the different degrees coming in and neutralizing, right? So you're not neutralizing because you're impatient. We look, it, it seems as if we want to go out and be creative, right? Go out and seek something, but what you're seeking is already, already within you. Yeah. The storm, storm warning, the seats the world so you know so right now the current energies in the world has a lot of us off balance and i sense a kind of tower energy seven of cups maybe this has to do with protesting and wanting to change things around us right wanting to change the storm wanting to change something around us but the only thing that we can change is within us right within our environment if you feel like you have the inability to change the outside world, you will want to start with the elements that you have. You can't take something that you don't have and create change, right? Right now, we're so restricted that you have to take your own elements to neutralize the storm, right? Neutralize this deception, neutralize the deception in the world, right? You have everything that lies right within. This is the high priestess energy, meaning that she holds all secrets. And I do see that you have the elements here. We're just not assure, sure of them or aware of how to utilize them. Thank you, Spirit, for that message. I'm going to continue to read um, from my Trip and Tape Tarot. Spirit, we're going to go ahead and expand on Capricorn's energy. What does Capricorn need to know? What messages do you want Capricorn to receive right now? We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. When you think of the Wheel of Fortune, you think of the patience, the temperance, right? So if someone feels like the will isn't spinning in their favor because they're unaware of how to utilize the elements that are currently at hand, swords. So there's some logical, Queen of Swords, there's some logical information that is waiting to be unveiled. I feel like you have the information that you're seeking. You're waiting for more information, but the information is within you. Yes, within you, the emperor, right? You hold the power. And when I said you hold the power, you have the four of pinnacles here, which means holding, right? Or he's holding on to what he has. So you hold the power. And you're able to give the information that you currently have. You're able to 
to give the world whatever information that you currently have, whatever you currently have, you're able to give it to others, your closest community and tribe. This will definitely satisfy you. This will bring fulfillment to your life, right? Of course, some conflict is going to come with that. But ultimately, you'll be showing the love. And people will be able to receive the love that you have to through their spirit from down with probable messages. So right now we feel impatient because the will of fortune is not turning in our favor, right? I also see you staying hopeful with the star card here as it's major arcana. We're putting up a good fight. I see here, maybe we're standing up for some things, but we feel like justice isn't served yet, right? We feel like there's still an imbalance, which reminds me of the Libra card, justice, balance. There's an offer here. Page of Pentacles. I'm going to have to kind of clarify that. But I see the will isn't turning in our favor. But the good thing about the will, it keeps turning. So that's turning upright. And I feel like you do have a sense of knowing that. Yes, you're fighting a battle. And some, some things are going to be lost within this battle. But I see that you're hopeful that whatever it is that you have to say, it will be heard. Whatever it is that you have to say... Whatever it is that you, whatever words you have to offer, you hope that it will be received. Expand on this reading for Capricorn. Expand on the reading for Capricorn spirit. What else? What other messages do we have for Capricorn today? Spirit guides, angels, and sisters come down with probable messages for Capricorn. What other messages do we have for Capricorn spirit? Hmm. There's conflict surrounding you, right? Conflict surrounding you. You wanting to express it, not feeling as if you're being heard. But you are. Like I mentioned, your wish fulfillment will come. The words that you have to offer, the interruption that you're bringing, you're hopeful that whatever conflict, whatever you're fighting for, whatever you're fighting for right now, if you, you hope that it will bring wish fulfillment, and it will move you into common grounds here with the Six of Swords, right? There's some deception going on here, some heartbreak, some juggling with lovers and family. So apply it to however you, you need to, but I do see someone looking for the will to turn in their faith, faith, favor, holding steadfast in their beliefs to continue to pour, pour into your spirituality and your practicality, remaining grounded and still being able to utilize the elements that you have, whether it be water, sugar, salt, you know, your words, trying to move in that element without ca causing such a hey may. Look, I have this to offer. I have time. I have, I have time to come in and, and spread the word. Now, I do sense that with this energy, that this conflict is coming from a good place, right? We want to offer words, but they might come off harsh. Or someone may be perceiving your perception as harsh, right? But you're fighting a good fight and you hope for wish fulfillment here. You hope to move into calmer waters. And that's definitely a good energy to have, right? Spirit guides, angels, let's clarify the five of wands. Let's clarify the five of wands. Let's clarify the five of wands. Let's clarify the five of wands, spirit. Well, so this is crossing you. you. You're in your head about what it is you're fighting for. You're fighting for peace, I see here with the two doves sitting at the top. It reminds me of, of fighting for a higher cause, right? Fighting to get a wish fulfillment with everything that's going on in the world today. With the protesters, I definitely see this energy. Your card looks science, so I see that, that initiation, wanting to initiate change, right? Capricorn is ruled by Saturn hard lessons over time applying what you have learned and trying to share it with others a change a successful change a wish fulfillment and I feel like we're very, pretty stern about it coming true but we're wrapped up in our head about what it is that we're passionate about and how uh, how to get the wish fulfillment right how do I do it how do I come up out of feeling entrapped by uh, you know politics, whatever it is that you believe in, um, because you know it's going to cause a conversation, it's going to cause a debate. Three of Pentacles. 
you're looking to give an offer to collaborate with something, somebody, a system, a person, a family, a relationship, but you feel like this offer isn't going to be received, that no one wants to go out and collaborate with you. And you're in your head about it. Do I fight this good fight alone? Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords. Sometimes you do have to stand in alone and be a revolutionist when it comes to whatever it is that you're fighting for. Because I see that Venus does come in. And she's be able to make the situation better with the Five of Swords. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse, right? <laughs> We're afraid that, um, we're hopeful that when we do come in, that we're able to be compassionate with our words, right? We're able to bring in the Venus in energy, compassion, even though we're, we're going to say what we have to say. I'm getting seven of wands energy. We're, we're defending what we believe in, right? And that right there is the ultimate fulfillment, not the pinnacles. We want to be. We want to come in slow and practical and really thought out about what we have to say. I feel some of you are trying to prevent hurt feelings, but what you have to say is that it's really the inevitable. Clarify the star card. Clarify the star card. Clarify the star card for Capricorn. Clarify the star card for Capricorn, please. Spirit, clarify the star card for Capricorn. Clear. Thank you so much, dear. So I do see you here with the Page of Cups again. This is a message of love. Still pouring in with love, right? The hangman. How I'm going to take what I feel. My hopes, my inspirations. Me wanting to spread love. I'm hopeful that the world will get this love that I have to give. And, and thinking about it. Really sitting there. And really thinking about how, again, like I said, how... To not upset people with whatever it is that you have to say. Because we're walking a thin line with everyone's perception and how they view things, right? So really thinking about how do I deliver this message of love, right? How do I deliver this without conflict to get my wish fulfillment? Knight of Pentacles again. So you're taking your time with the hangman and Knight of Pentacles to come in and be compassionate. But clear, concise, and blunt with your words. It is the inevitable. You are going to upset some people. I say go for it. Get outside of your head and go for it. Not everyone is going agree, to agree with you. Page of Pentacles. The Empress. Let me clarify this again. Clarify. <laughs> We're hoping that we get a Ten of Pentacles with this Wheel of Fortune, right? And I did see the Page of Pentacles that has to do with being able to bring people together, right? Starting on a, a journey. The Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles showing itself lets me believe that we want to change the world and bring it together. I'm sensing this Wheel of Fortune. I usually don't get these type of readings but this is very interesting at the time that we're in today will of fortune clarify the will of fortune spirit clarify the will of fortune the strength yes beautiful knight of pentacles again I'm just gonna throw that in the page of pen i'm gonna throw that out right Yes, yes, we're wanting to come in and we feel that, that will changing. Maybe we have the ability to change. Maybe we have the ability and the strength to to promote change, slow change, if any change, right? Bring it in stability. I see you having the strength to start embarking on the journey and saying, fuck it, I'm going to go out here and do everything that I feel that I need to do to contribute. Not a swords is here, right? Do everything that I need to do to contribute. The words I need to get. Seven of Wands. What did I say? Energy here. Don't standing up for what you feel is right. Seven of Cups. What you feel is right, right? What is right? What 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 in one one of these cups? What is right? That is a a, a very interesting read. Um, wow, Spirit. Thank you for that message. That was very insightful. So I definitely say that um, it, it looks like you are. If you're able to come up out of your um, thoughts and decide to embark on this journey, and maybe you're looking to protest, right? Be a part of the change, be a revolutionist. I do see you uh, getting that wish fulfillment that you hope for. Everyone is not going to agree with you. 
So take a leap of faith, right? Spirit guides, angel ancestors, give me the energy for Taurus. What is Taurus' message, message for today? What do they need to know? This is for Taurus. All placements. This is for Taurus. <clears throat> All placements. You have the um, Ten of Pentacles here. So, you know, having everything that you need, right? Having everything that you need. Surrounded with everything you need. Time, material means, money, family. Everything that makes you happy here. In a practical world, right? In a material world, right? Is what we're seeking. Maybe we feel it off balance with that. Maybe we're trying to attain that here with the magician and the nine of swords we're trying to get everything that we need and I, I think that you already have everything that you need but you're trying to manifest more it could be hard to manifest more when you already have spirit wants you to take a look at what you already have right what do you already have you're trying to manifest more but you have the ten of pentacles what else do we need to manifest right maybe why that's why it seems so hard because we're trying to manifest again what we already have yes so i see that some of you could possibly be still waiting or i i sense that you guys are waiting yeah with this eight of oh excuse me so we have a ten of pentacles we're looking to manifest more but it seems to be a little challenging right we're putting all of our energy to manifesting more Right now, we're even trying to get a team to collaborate with us to manifest more. We're defensive about, why do I have to wait this long? Well, maybe you're waiting for something you already have. Maybe we're trying to develop the Ten of Pentacles too fast. Maybe we lost some things and now we're trying to get back to where we were. But you have to take a different course of action. Maybe you need to reassess what you need to what you what elements you need to collaborate this time maybe you need to switch up your elements to get what you had before this could have to do with a cancer gemini virgo or any of the earth signs here also sagittarius leo and their aries energy is here i do see someone really wanting some change and communicating that was the magician in the eight of wands that was there i see us communicating that we we want more we need more right oh, excuse me queen of pentacles we want more we need more stability let me go through and clarify this clarify the ten of pentacles clarify the ten of pentacles oh look at there the card that belongs here clarify the ten of pentacles Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Strength. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The Taurus. So yeah, I did sense that we were looking to attain something that we had in our past, right? And maybe we need to take a different course of action to get what we had once had. Or maybe what we once had is not what we need in our current present time. Right? What do, what do we need different that we, di that we didn't have before? Clarify the magician. Maybe we're trying to welcome in somebody from our past. Clarify the magician. Spirit come down with probable messages. Seven of Cups. Yeah, we're trying to decide what do we need to manifest and make us happy. Clarify. Mm. We have some regrets. Clarify the, clarify the Nine of Wands. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Again, I feel like you're trying to attain some things from the past that you no longer need in your life today because you, you have something here. You have those two cups here and you may not be paying attention to the two cups e either usually the five of cups is someone staring at the three of cups and not paying attention to the two of cups but i don't feel like this person is paying attention to any of the cups here page of wands hmm so it looks like we're not eager we're just standing ground 
maybe we're missing the message here maybe we're missing the fact that again all that we need with the in, the beginning energy here it's already there with the elements that you already have the elements right that i mentioned in a way beginning are they're already there and being able to produce pre produce whatever it is that you feel like you need with the elements that you currently have you currently have everything that you need being too persistent can cause resistance i feel like the universe wants you to sit and see what you currently have what you're full of now clarify this because we're waiting i see we're waiting for a ten of pentacles and we might already have that in some way form or fashion you're seeking what you already have what's already within right clarify the seven of pentacles yeah, we felt like we worked so hard. You have the nine of wands. You felt like you worked so hard to attain something that you don't have, but you, in actuality, you do have it. Queen of Swords, yeah. I, I see someone needing to get some information. Someone coming in and telling you, look. Look what you already have. Look at the Ten of Pentacles you already have. You're just not viewing it like that. Seven of Pentacles, right? You have a Seven of Pentacles again, so you're still looking for whatever it is that you need, but you already have it. Uh, Capricorn, sorry, Taurus, you already, you already have it. You already have the home security life, right? You already have everything that you need in your chariot. Queen of Wands. This is very fast moving energy. So you're moving so fast, not realizing that everything that you have is already already with you, right? The chariot carries his home life with him, right? You already have it within you. The knight of wands in the chariot, that's very fast moving energy. Ten of pentacles, you already have it. Whatever you're searching for, you already have Capricorn. Moving on, not Capricorn, Taurus. I keep saying Capricorn, please forgive me. Moving on to uh, Virgo. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please come down with probable messages of Virgo, all placements. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please come down for Virgo. Placement. What messages do we have for Virgo today, Spirit? I ask that you flood me with the energy of Virgo to speak clear and concise messages. I ask that it touch the people that it needs to. Thank you so much for coming down and assisting me. This is for Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo? King of Swords. Mm, someone's speaking their truth here, right? Bottom of the deck, sun card, sun card again. Someone needs clarity about a truth, right? Speaking the truth clear, speaking an honest truth, right? What do we have for Virgo? Searching for information that is true, right? Being able to transform something with the truth and bring clarity life success to one's life when i said one's life i get the community card so someone wants to reach out to the community speak their truth they want to communicate right virgo is a ruled by the sign of communication so it doesn't surprise me that the king of swords is here because we're looking to communicate to our loved ones about the truth right and hope it hopefully it will shine light on a situation or their situation or just a situation Queen of Pentacles, we want to, I'm going to have to clarify that Queen of Pentacles there, but that's somebody who's a homemaker, right? That's Capricorn's energy, cardinal sign, initiator, emp empathy, compassion, reflective. I see someone want to communicate to the, a close person, possibly their wife about the truth about something we're, we're wanting to communicate something 
about how we feel. Perhaps so. This King of Swords, I would say, definitely be careful about you how you hold that knife, because that one knife can feel like ten, right? The king, the emperor, and the king. Yeah. So I do see. Oh, someone being a little arrogant about what they have to say and, and cutting someone rather deep, someone you care about, possibly a woman rather deep with your words here. A tower card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the tower card was there at the bottom of the deck, flew over there. So we're, we're cutting someone deeply with our words and it cuts really deep and we're hoping to create some type of hope, inspire someone, right? Our truth is going to shed light. It's going to inspire someone, but actually it hurts someone, right? Because you're coming across to ego. Like, you have to do it this way. This is my demand, ego. Like, my way or the highway energy, your words are not going to come across as they need. I would say be impeccable with your words when you're wanting to get something off that's so meaningful for you. Be careful how you cut people. If you want your light to shine and you want to give information to someone, you want to be very strategic how you deliver that information. Someone's looking to communicate. Virgo, I see you looking to communicate something here. But I do see someone stepping in this full on like arrogance, right? Especially with the Sun card Leo. This is all arrogant energy here. And you could be directing the sword at your queen of pentacles here, right? Someone you're in close union and tie. You could be directing this at a, a gathering or get together. And, and, and your words are going to come off very... Like you're the star of the show. And, and this person I see here is going to feel some type of way. They might feel like their head is down. She's looking down. Like what it is, is it do I really have to offer? You know, and this person feels like they have so much to offer. This queen, this sun card is kind of shining light on this pinnacle here for me. So she, this person is feeling like, wow, I have so much to offer. But you make me feel like I have nothing to offer. Clarify the king of swords. Clarify the King of Swords for um, Virgo. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo here, Spirit. Please come down with probably messages for Virgo. Hmm. Six of Swords. Ten of Swords, like I said. Your words are going to cut someone deep. And you're hoping to create a sun moment, but it's not. You're hoping like, oh, maybe that these words will create change, move us into calmer waters. No, it's actually going to create the Ten of Swords and the Tower energy. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you, you, you want to take a step back, step up out of your ego with this um, energy that I'm sensing here. Yeah, the Tower. Again, yeah, again, you are going to create a Tower moment at a celebratory moment. Someone is going to get their feelings hurt. Some words are going to be real harsh during the celebration. The celebration could be like a wedding, family getting together, people are going to be drinking and there's going to be a tower moment, a really dark moment here. Yes, because this person, this queen of pentacles, who feels like she has tried everything, has held up everything, she feels like she's the sun, but for some reason, you're going to feel make her feel like she's not the sun. Or this per again, take it how it resonates. Clarify the ten of swords. Clarify the ten. the fact that the tower is here and the ten of swords is here twice tells me a lot that uh, someone is definitely going to be throwing, I mean, hitting below the belt. I mean, it's going to get ugly. I mean, it's going to get real fucking ugly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this happy moment is going to turn into a really dark moment, right? This happy moment, I feel like families getting together right two of cups yes you're going to be hurting your queen of pentacles like i said you're going to oh man yeah you're not going to be able to get your wish fulfillment whatever you're trying to convey it's not going to come across you need to and someone could be doing this intentionally someone could be packing all their bags and getting away clarify the emperor energy clarify the emperor energy Clarify the emperor energy for me, spirit. Clarify this emperor energy for me, spirit. Clarify this emperor energy for me, spirit. Spirit guides. Queen of Pentacles. Mm. So, I feel like someone is going to be chopping someone down off their throne. I feel like someone is going to I get an energy of you're just a woman because we had a queen of pentacles again. 
someone is, I feel like there's a couple fighting for power here. Someone's fighting for power. Someone's fighting for the center of attention, right? Someone's fighting for it, but at the end, like, you guys are fighting for this attention, and it's only going to be, yeah, fighting. When I said fighting for it, it's seven of wands. Someone's fighting for this. What did I just say? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, someone's defending, fighting, being defensive, standing their ground about what it is that they bring to the table. Um, a lot of times when we're having debates or trying to stand our ground about what we're believing in, we forget the big picture, right? We all hold our own type of power, right? But being able to understand each other's power, each other's personal power, um, being empowered, this lower level energy with the tower card, Scorpio energy, aggression, right? Possession, the ten of swords, someone being cut deeply, you know, stabbed in the back, feeling defeated, crumbled like the foundation is crumbled. That's never the energy. Um, we should always be coming from a... a Operating at a higher frequency where everyone's feeling like the sun card in their own right, right? Not trying to tear someone down to to show others how high you are. Um, again, we see here that it just creates a tower moment and everybody's still stabbed in their back. Everybody's, you know, being petty and really going for the long haul. I mean, this is past the five of swords being petty. This is like taking petty to a, a tower moment. Where people, I mean, I mean, self-esteem is completely shattered here. Just be, just to stand in our light and our ego and, and show like I'm the man or I'm the woman. Um, wow, that's it. I would definitely um, take a deep, deep, deep look at. Um, yeah, let me get some advice. <laughs> let me get some um, advice here for mutual energy advice. Let me get some mutual energy advice for Capricorn, Taurus. Thank you, sir. It says, don't let pride get in your way. Boom, what did I say? Boom, that's for you, Virgo. It says, step out of your comfort zone. Um, That's for Capricorn. I believe someone needs to step out the um, comfort zone and just go, the eight of swords energy, stepping out the comfort zone. Let me get one more for Taurus. Thank you so much, sir. This was a really good reading if I would say so myself let me get another one for Taurus spirit what do we have for Taurus a new romantic psychic cycle begins okay new moon and Libra so if you're waiting on something new a balance to come in which I see here right new moon and Libra that we're, we're, we're waiting for a balance to come in make sure you're you're loving yourself right you're mirroring what you want to come in um, with that being said, at the bottom of the deck is believe in the impossibles. Your opportunities are once in a blue moon. So don't blow an opportunity, right? Do not blow an opportunity or take an opportunity. Take a chance. Take a big leap of faith on something that you feel like you need to because it might be just once in a blue moon. Peace.